Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to draw and paint a deer using watercolor. There is a family of deer that lives by my house and it's really hard for me to take pictures of them because every time I try they run away, but I finally got one of them. And this is one of the younger deer. This is a great tutorial for beginners and you just need basic supplies. These are what you need. Watercolors, water, a paintbrush, watercolor paper, a paper towel, scratch paper, a pencil, and tape. And masking tape is optional if you want to tape your border. And that's it. Look in the comment section below and I'll give you the details on what each one of these are. So let's get started. The first step is going to be drawing our deer on our paper. Well, I can show you this picture. It's kind of hard to see. Most of the time when I take pictures of the deer, it's in the morning or in the evening. So it's a little bit dark. When you sketch this with me, make sure you draw really, really lightly. I'm going to be drawing dark just so you can see it. But draw so lightly that you don't even need to erase any of your lines. We want to start out with the biggest shape, which is going to be the shape of his body. And so I'm just going to put that right in the middle. And it looks like a jelly bean. Then we want to draw the shape of his head. He's turning this way, so he's looking back and it comes just a little bit above. This is a young deer. We're just going to draw a circle for his head and then I'm just going to put a little circle where his nose is going to be, about right here. And let's go ahead and draw the shape of the ears in and we're drawing these shapes to make sure we can fit this on our paper. This is a young deer, so we don't want to draw that part too big. We're just going to start with a straight line and then make this one curved like a triangle. Same thing with this one, going straight over. And if you want them to be the same height, just go ahead and draw a line across the top. Then we just kind of want to draw basic shapes for the legs. So this leg is coming out here. So we're just drawing a line diagonally here and then we're gonna draw kind of a curved line forward and this is gonna follow that. And then it's gonna go straight back. Then we just have this little hoof. Just gonna draw a big block. This is a little bit straighter than I've drawn it back. Draw that leg a little bit straighter there. And then this back leg is just hiding behind this front leg. So we're just gonna draw a straight shape through and then curve it forward. This back leg is almost like a triangle that's coming down like this. And once we get to the bottom of the triangle, it's gonna curve back in that direction and then come forward. And this is going to bend around and follow that shape until it gets all the way to the ground. And we wanna make sure these feet are about at the same place. And then this back leg is going to come back behind this one. We're just drawing a shape out that direction and then we're gonna bring it forward as well and just make the little shape at the bottom. Then there's a little tail. Now let's come up to the face and let's work a little bit where on the placement of the eyes. Halfway between the head and the top of the nose is going to be the eye. And this eye over here is kind of going to be slanted. So we're just going to draw like kind of a V going in that direction and then just pump, bump out an eye behind it and bring a line coming from it in that direction. Come down to the nose and we're just going to put in that dark shape for the nose. It's just a dark area where the nose is. I'm just going to draw like a wide T so you can just see where that black area is and that's going to help us place some other things. And then just put a little shape underneath and then from the nose we're just going to draw a line over. This eye is going to be almost in the middle of this shape. There's just a bump on the top and a bump on the bottom. This is all going to be dark. I'm just making it a little darker so you can kind of see it. Hopefully it's helpful. I'm going to erase this line right here and we're going to make this head just a little bit skinnier. But still keep a little bump right there. And then we're going to adjust the shapes of these ears. Curve this one just a little bit. And then we're going to draw like a triangle right here. Make this little area and then bring it up onto the ear. That's going to be shaded in and so is that. And then on the back right here actually kind of bumps up a little bit like a shoulder and then comes back and around to the tail. I'm just going to erase some of these lines so you can see more of the shapes of the steer. This is the part where you can adjust the shapes. We can make sure we've got the right lines here. If anything looks off to you, you can go ahead and check it. And deer almost have like this toe. So there's like a line coming up through the middle that's going to be going up. And I'm just drawing this a little bit darker so you can see it. And this one should be up a little bit higher since it's behind it. Maybe lining up with that one just a little bit lower. So I want to make sure that I keep some of these areas white. So I'm just going to kind of take my pencil and lightly outline around the eyes. I want it to be lighter. It's definitely lighter on the bottom of the feet and on the front of these legs. And the tail is like completely white. And then we are ready to paint it. If you are right-handed, go ahead and put your paints on the right side of your paper. If you're left-handed, put your paints on the left side of your paper. I'm going to pull my tray a little bit closer so you can see me mixing my colors. And the first color we're going to mix up is a light brown. So we're going to mix brown with a little bit of black and a lot of water in our tray and mixing in your tray is great because then you know you have enough color and you can keep it consistent so mix up that light brown gray and we're going to paint in the legs around the body and the head just make sure you don't paint in the tail because the tail is going to be completely white 
Once you've painted the body with the light brown, we're going to mix a little bit of a darker color using our brown and black in the tray. Now, if you add too much black, add a little bit more brown. If the color's too dark, then add more water. And you can always test it, see how dark it is compared to the other color. And I'll show you some different ways to blend and to fade things too. Also, you can control how much water is on your brush by using your paper towel. We're going to start with the head and we're gonna move in this direction. If you're left-handed, you can start on the right and move to the left, but since I'm right-handed, I'm starting on the left and moving to the right. The first thing we wanna do is paint up and around these ears. To soften up your edges, dip your brush in your water, blot it off on your paper towel, and then you can just come along those hard edges and smooth them out. Grab that same brown, Make sure you don't have too much watercolors on your brush. We're gonna come around the top of the head. We're going to leave some light areas around the eyes and around the nose. And then this deer almost has like a, a little necklace or like a light area on its neck. To soften up those edges, rinse off your brush, blot it off, and then we're just gonna come around those lines. I don't wanna get the dark all the way to my eyes, so I'm trying to be careful, but I just want that to be a little bit smoother instead of a stripe. I want it to be a little bit more blended. Now we might need just a little bit more blending right here on this side. All right, now we're gonna move into the body. Get that same color we used for the face. Blot it off on your paper towel. And then we're going to put it first right on this part of the back and forward. Almost like we're painting a triangle on the front of this one and then right behind this leg and under the belly along the back like this. And then just a little bit on the back of this leg and then a little bit on the front of this leg. Take your brush, rinse it, blot it, and then go along those edges and smooth them out. This technique of blending only works well if it's still wet. If it's dried, you can't really go along the edges and smooth them out. And then around the tail, make sure you're careful. We just wanna keep it as light as we can. So with the legs, the legs are pretty light, so we're just going to be adding a little bit of darkness to them. Along the front of this one, bring a little bit of a shadow. This leg is behind, so it's pretty dark. This one has some shading along the back, and so does this one. Just bringing a little shading onto those legs in the front and in the back. We've added a little bit of shading, and now we're going to add a little bit more. So I'm going to put a little bit more brown into my tray and a little bit more black. Test it out on my paper, so it's pretty dark. And then I'm gonna take this darker color and put it in some shadows on the deer. And there's definitely going to be a little bit more shading up on the ears and even around the top of this one and around the side. I think I have a little bit too much water on my brush, so I'm just gonna blot my brush off on my paper towel, smooth out those edges. And this is, I'm just smoothing these out with my dry brush. There isn't any water on it or anything like that. There is just a little bit of a darker area in here that kind of comes down. Almost like a, an upside down U must be indicating some kind of bone that's underneath. There's more shading on his back right here. Remember, it's just this triangle. After you paint it on, blot your brush off and smooth out those edges. And we also need some darker areas on the belly. So I'm just coming right behind this leg and underneath here. And then again, just smooth out those edges with your wet brush that you've dried off. And let's add a little bit of a shadow on here. And there's just going to be a little bit of shading on some of these legs. Now we're going to paint in the darkest areas, the nose, the eyes, and the hoofs. So I've got black on my brush, but I'm also making sure I don't have too much because I'm painting small areas. So we wanna make sure when we paint it on, I can control it. So I'm gonna start with the eyes and they're completely dark. You can put some shadows in them if you want. And then the nose is this just big dark shape. Paint in the black hoof. Then you can take your brush and you can smooth out some of those areas as well around those. So another supply I forgot to mention is going to be a Micron pen. And I usually use my Micron pens with watercolor drawings when I need it to stand out. And when I also want it to have a little bit of an illustrative effect. But before we draw on this, we want to add a little bit of a shadow underneath this deer. I'm gonna use a really, really light color. So I'm putting a lot of water in there. Around the edges, you can use your paper towel or just water to smooth it out if you want to. You don't have to. All right, once you've added the shading, rinsed your brush off, you can add, of course, you can add darker parts. You could add a little bit more detail to the face if you want. And what I'm gonna do now is take my Micron pen and re-outline this and get some of the texture in and also separate the shapes a little bit. Make sure this is completely dry before you do this part. All right, after you add your pen, you can go ahead and keep it. You can add some more shading. I might add a little bit more shading. You can paint the background also however you want. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I would love to see what you could do with this. This is a little bit more illustrative, so you could add things to this. You could add, I don't know, a red nose, something like that. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.